Hey guys, Victorian Garden here. So today I just have a little update for you all. Of course, a resin update. Uh, so first, I just want to clear up a few things with you all. I know in my last video it was my summer blowout, which is still going on. So if you see something, just let me know if you're interested in it. And I'll get everything set up for you. Uh, I'm really only doing PayPal right now. And yeah, that's basically all about that. Uh, but a lot of you, I guess, thought that I was quitting resin permanently. But I just wanted to tell you that I'm not. I'm just uh, stopping temporarily while I'm uh, back in college. And I will be doing resin whenever I get the chance. If I come back home and I do it on maybe like a weekend when I'm here or a holiday, I'll pour something. Uh... But, yeah, I'm definitely not stopping. I think once you're addicted to something, it's really hard to stop unless you want to. You know, you have to put in the effort. Uh, but I really don't want to stop resin. I really like it. So, uh, I'm just putting a little hold on it for now. But I am not gone yet, so I am still doing a few things before I leave. Um, so, I guess I'll just start off with this update. Okay, so this first piece that you see right here is my little hand-painted Totoro piece. And, uh, let's see. He's just got a white uh, shimmery background. And the top of this was hand-painted by me. And then I domed over it and stuck in these little black rhinestones. And if you haven't seen the movie, then you probably don't know why they're there. But if you have seen the movie, then you know that they are the little dust ghost thingies, whatever they're called in the movie. But that's what they're supposed to represent. And uh, you probably can't tell on camera, but it does have this really cool kind of 3D effect going on. Because the branch was actually painted in the background. So it looks like his feet cast a shadow on it. But yeah. And I don't know if you can see, but a little bit of the background dripped to the center of the heart. Which doesn't really bother me too much. It just reinforces the bail. And then the background was domed with just a white resin layer. And I domed it over the bail so I can't feel it. And it's completely secure because it's inside of the piece. And if you guys want to see how I do that, just watch my, uh, oh, sorry if you heard that noise. Uh, just watch my How I Encase My Bales tutorial. And that is posted. So that's that piece. And, uh, in that tutorial, you guys saw me doing the backside of this piece. And here's how it came out. I did a holographic glitter background, and it's a nice thick dome. It's, let's see if you can see. It's pretty thick, and it completely covers the bale. You can't feel it. It's inside, so it's not going to pop off or anything. And it's just really pretty. I like the whole encasing the bale inside of the piece because you can actually use it as a double-sided piece. You can uh, use it as a reversible piece. Like, for this one, I could totally wear it like this, you know, just a silver glittery holographic heart would be pretty. Or you can flip it over and see the design, but I'm not going to show you guys because it's not done. <laughs> and I know you guys are probably going to be mad, but sorry. All right. And I know I had a question by the Pastry Diva. She wanted to know what molds I was using. And in case you've already sifted through all my videos to see what they were. I'm sorry for not doing this video earlier, but um, here is one of the molds that I used. I used it for, let's see, I think it was for that blue piece that you guys saw the other day, the hand-painted one, and here's a blank that I poured. I'm probably going to paint on it, and that's how that comes out. This is the sideways slanted heart, the scalloped one. I know there's a bunch of people looking for it, but I'm sorry. I got this a really long time ago, like at the beginning. Let's see. I think it was on Valentine's. I got it on Valentine's Day. 
And these were actually the very first molds I ever started using resin with, which I think is just amazing because I didn't even like them at first. And I actually threw away a couple of them just because I messed them up so bad. And now I know there's like a bunch of people working for them. So I don't know. It's just kind of funny to me. Uh, so there's that heart that I used for that. And then the other heart that I used, ah, it fell in the trash. Okay, I saved it. So this is the other heart I used, and um, this one I got in a trade from uh, Dulis, Dulis, oh my gosh, I can't speak Spanish today, Dul, ah, Dul, <laughs> Deliciosas Yummies, I think, yeah, and then there's some numbers at the end of her channel name, I'm pretty sure, but I can't remember what they are. As you can see, I've used this one a lot, it's already faded towards the bottom from where the resin's been. Uh... So I really, really, really like this heart, and I really want some more. I think this is, like, the only one I have left. I'm pretty sure the other one tore up because I used it so much. Uh, so I'm going to have to try and find some more of these somewhere. But this one's all gross inside because I was using it for something. So there's that one, and like I said, I think it's the Target heart mold or something. And uh, when I did the Totoro piece... I used the white background and I had some leftover, I had some leftover resin, so I poured a bunch of other pieces. So I don't know about you guys, but whenever I make cake, I don't really like the yellow cake. So my cake batter isn't always yellow, it's pretty much white most of the time. So to me, I made some confetti. Ah, if it brighten up, freaking video. Okay, this thing's not gonna cooperate with me. So, anyways, like I said, most of my cake batter looks pretty darn white uh, whenever I'm baking. So, for these, they are white with sprinkles in it, and. It's got a little bit of the leftover glitter from the Totoro piece. So it's a little bit sparkly. And it's super cute with the sprinkles in it. I really like them. And these are little stud earrings. So it's got the little stud encased inside of the resin so it won't pop off or anything. And that's how those look. I really wish it would brighten up and cooperate with me. Ugh. Okay, well, anyways, that's how those look. All right, and then I had some leftover clear resin. So I made these pieces, which were actually commission pieces. Uh, one of my girls at work really liked my jewelry, and she saw the sprinkles that I had done in the past. So she wanted some heart earrings, and they're just clear on the back side with the stud. So I think those are super cute. I just... I really like those. And they can go with pretty much any color you wear. <laughs> so that's how they look. And then I just kind of went crazy with the sprinkles and kept making some more pieces. So here are some earrings that will be like dangly type earrings. And they are just, again, the white batter background with the colored sprinkles. And I'll be finishing those. Then I poured some in this little uh, mold I got from Kawaii Cupcake. It was an extra. And this sucker is so friggin' hard to pop out because it's got like a major undercut on the ears part. So it's really, really hard to pop out of the mold. And then something happened, I guess because there were so many sprinkles in this. It's like a chunk of it didn't touch the mold. So it looks like it's got a chunk missing. <laughs> Which I kind of like because it looks more like someone took a piece out of the waffle. So it's pretty cute. And it's on a ring base. And the ring base is actually kind of covered in the resin. So that way the ring base won't pop off either. And then, this is, like, my favorite piece. It's a little bow. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it very good. 
but it is a little bow. And, well, I think that's probably upside down. Okay. Anyways, and it's just filled with sprinkles, and it's got the white background. It's just really, really, really cute. And then the back of it, of course, is encased inside the resin, so it won't pop off. And then the last piece was just a pour over, so I put in this weird shape. And, yeah, that's how it looks. I like it. The back is encased inside the resin. And then I had one last bit of pour over, and I just put it in the Wilton Heart Mold. And I really, really, really like that Wilton Heart Mold. Uh, this one. So I'm debating whether or not I want to get some more of that. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I'll trade someone for it. But that's all, guys. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's everything. And I don't know. I guess I'll have another little update eventually when I finish something. <laughs> So I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and bye-bye.